Hello and welcome to my channel. I am back. Ah, it feels good to be back. Um, okay. I am here doing just putting um, the tips on my hand and then I'm going to go in and uh, clip them down because I'm going to do kind of like an almond shape or an oval shape or let me look. Uh, well, they're kind of almond. I have them sitting at my desk right now. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to pop in here and I've had this video recorded for a while and uh, things just kind of got away. Let's see, we had an entire week of snow and ice and crazy temperatures. So... <laughs> It's, uh, it's been interesting. Um, my husband was first in the, uh, hospital and then it froze and I went to, we all went to my sister's cause our, the power company here, I'm just shaping the nail right now. Um, the power company here did 30 minutes on, um, two hours off rolling blackouts. So it was like 30 degrees in my house. And yeah, that was, that was no. So I took, um, my animals and my kiddos and we went to my sister's and built a huge fire and had like a little camping thing <laughs> at her house. So it was quite fun. Um, and then my pipes burst. <laughs> So I had to get those fixed. Um, it's just been, it's been quite an ordeal here, but I am all good now. I'm going to try and be more consistent, of course, like I always say. Um, but I will show you that I will be more consistent. So yeah, we, it was, it was just very interesting. So things have been going really well. We're going to have a haul video on my next video and yeah, so I'm glad to have you all as part of my little crew and watching my journey here. I'm almost ready to graduate. I've got another six weeks, I think, left. And yeah, things are things are going well. So once I get my little studio, I will be uh, recording and being a lot more consistent on here. So I'm just trying to get through it. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started here. You right now, I am just putting on base gel onto the nails. I'm using gel, not acrylic this time. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty interesting here. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm just happy to be back. Um, it's just crazy but yeah I'm happy to be back uh, I put it in the after the base shelf sorry I put it in uh, to cure it and now I'm just using this synergy gel it's a concealer peach I believe and I like it it has a little like um kind of shimmery glitter in it and then um, I just kind of put it on there. I'm not, I was trying this out because I got these in the Young Nails uh, box. I don't know. I'm not a fan of their Synergy Gel. So I went ahead um, and bought some Light Elegance uh, Gel and I'm going to be trying that out soon. Um... As soon as I get it, I will make a video and try it out for you guys. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, it, it is a lot easier, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm, it's expensive. <laughs> okay, there's two ounces in that tube and it's, uh, $65. So I don't know. 
anyway, I'm just showing you a couple of these now. Sorry, I'm I'm a little off. Uh, it's still going to take me a little while to get used to this again. And I'm, then I'm just turning it around to build kind of an apex on it. And then after that, I turn it over and then cure it. I only show a couple of the nails and then I start uh, shaping and buffing. So... There we go. Now I am taking swipe and then I'm just pull, uh, pulling, <laughs> I'm just taking off the inhibition layer of the gel because there's always that sticky layer on the top of the gel. Doesn't mean it's not cured. It just, it's just the layer of gel that needs to be uh, wiped off. So after that, I then shape it and get it to where I want it to be. I really like that color. The color was really pretty. And then I just do kind of like a simple, this is more of a simple set. Uh, I do, I am going to do one of the um, nails on like a unicorn horn. And then I have the little Sorry, the little foils <laughs> in there and use that and then use some gems. So I want to, it's a little simpler, but I've gotten to the point now where the things on my channel, I'm going to put not really, it's not going to be wearable nails because even people that see my nails think they're not wearable but more of just like I'm not gonna do like extreme nails because this is my business okay it is my business and um the stuff that I do it's going to be put on other people like they can request the nails that I do. So I'm not going to do like really out there nails or anything unless I still get into competition and everybody's trying to get me to to go into competition and I'm just I'm not that good. <laughs> so this is just the McCart foil glue and I put it on the nail and then I cure it for 60 seconds and I wanted to leave this in okay because I want to show you that nobody's perfect we all mess up at times and you know if it doesn't work then wipe it off try it again because you know And you'll see why it's not perfect. Anyway, wipe it off. Try it again. You know, nobody's perfect. Uh, nobody's going to curse you for not being perfect. Um, I think that us in the makeup world and in the nail world and everything, when we do put stuff up, we want to put just the most perfect uh points in there the most perfect things in our videos and stuff and really I'm learning I'm learning and I want to show the learning process so I am going to leave stuff like this in and sorry about my sniffling I don't know why I get on here and <laughs> I tend to sniffle and I don't know why um, anyway, so what I ended up doing was just cutting, instead of cutting out two individual pieces, I just cut out, uh, the one full piece and then I ended up putting some gems on it cause I thought it needed it because it had that big pink space on there. So there we go. That looks a lot better. And these foils I got from Profiles Backstage. Um, 
And these I've got, these are profile back, profiles backstage. Oh my gosh. These are the frostings. They are just the art paints that you can use on the nails for art and all of that. Um, oh, and then I'm putting the top, uh, I'm encapsulating all of the rest of these nails. So we're going to encapsulate and then cure it and then shape those again. And after that, we then um, put on the, I, the frosting for the unicorn horn. Now let's explain. This is called frosting. It is the, it's like the mission control paints. It's like the art paints that you see on uh, Amazon. Now, oh, this is the detailer too. It's in uh, from uh, it's a brush from Ugly Duckling. I absolutely love these brushes. They're so thin and so easy to work with. I really, really do love them. Anyway, so now I'm just putting the like swirls on the nails and I'm just using, I think I just ended up using three colors instead of the four, but I put them on there and then I cure it and then I put another layer of the uh, gel on there. Okay, so this these gel paints are you know, normal things you'd find on Amazon. Uh, they're like the mission control paints. Let me tell you, I've started to... I know a lot of people like the gel paints and stuff that you get on Amazon. I, however, do not because I have found that my clients come back and they're like, okay, this has peeled off. Um, yes, I do use the base coat when I need to. Um, like the Beatles gel, you have to use the base coat or else it will just come off. But I've learned that the ones, the cheaper ones that you get on Amazon aren't really up to the standards like if somebody's gonna pay you for if you're gonna do your own nails have at it but if somebody's gonna pay you for doing their manicure or their nails they expect it to last if they're gonna be paying you good money they're gonna expect it to last so as far as gels go as far as like these gel paints go or acrylic or um gel uh, anything to build the nail out, I'm going to be using professional um, products. I won't be using the stuff from Amazon. Now the art stuff like chromes, um, any decals, any um, like art things like that, that I will get from Amazon. I spent a lot of money on Amazon. I'm not saying that Amazon is horrible for all this stuff. I'm just not going to do any of like the professional products like I would use to um, enhance the nail, any en nail enhancements like acrylic or gel or um, um, sorry, dip. All that stuff is going to be professional. Everything else, you know, like art stuff, foils, things like that, they're going to be I'm going to, I'll get them from wherever, but most of the time it will be from Amazon. I just wanted to put that out there just in case, you know, somebody's asking me for any like affordable things or stuff. I, I will do affordable art and stuff, but like I said, the enhancements, those are going to come from professional grade products because I see... I notice that they last better. I notice that um, they're more durable. And I want, when I create a product for some, create a product, when I do a service for somebody, if they're paying me good money, then I'm not going to give them crap. Okay. So, you know, it is going to cause me to be a little bit higher than some people or, you know, than the other stuff. But if I'm giving good quality work, then, you know, I hopefully that will speak for itself. I'm still new to this business owning stuff and I, it scares the crap out of me. I'm going to be opening my business in a couple months here and it scares, it really does scare me. I'm, 
I don't want to fail. <laughs> I just don't. Anyway, so here you're just seeing me with, or damn Maria, you're just seeing me put on the gel product. And I think I use purple after the pink one. I believe I do. Let me see. Because you can see it. The reason why I put the colored ones on there instead of just doing clear gel. Because I am going to cover it up with the unicorn um, chrome paint. Is because you can see a little bit of the color through the chrome. And I thought that gave it like a nice a nice just a nice effect this okay this is not my design I saw a video from Christy Meekin she has her own channel now she's Nao Nails and she did this unicorn horn and I was like, hmm, I, I really want to do something with this. And then I got these cute little foils from Profiles Backstage um, because I was going to do my daughter's nails because my daughter was obsessed with unicorns and now she's not. She is obsessed with cats. <laughs> and I'm like, I bought these so that I can use them on her and now I can't use them. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna create, you know, a unicorn set because I wanted to get some kind of use out of these foils. Anybody else have that where their daughter is obsessed with one thing and then she suddenly, just just suddenly, you know, not, not gradually changes it. She just suddenly changes it to something else. <sighs> I'm telling you. <laughs> And she's probably going to watch this. So hi, Bella. <laughs> um, I love my daughter. So now I've got to find cat foils. So if anyone knows where I can get foils of cats, then let me know. I think I can find some decals, but I'm looking for foils. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is kind of file the edge off because I did get I did get it past the edge, so I want to just kind of file it off a little bit, and then I'm putting on a top coat. Now I'm putting on a lot of top coat. The reason being is I've got to get in those crevices, so I put a bunch on there and then I kind of spread it throughout the nail, just trying to get an even coating on there because I do have to have a top coat in order to put the rub on on there, the chrome effect on there. And this is the chrome. I believe this is a Beatles chrome. I hope so. I think this is a beetle. Be, be, oh, geez, Maria. I think this is a beetle's chrome. So I'm just putting the chrome on there. Look how pretty it is. Seriously, it just looks so pretty. Also, this is kind of a new angle and a new hand. Let me know if you like this better than my previous ones because I think it really does show the details in what I'm doing. So I'm using the Young Nails Ultimate Finish Gel. And I like this one because it uh, it's a no wipe gel. I do have my favorite. I have finally found my favorite top coat and that is the Madame Glam no wipe top coat. I love it and their velvet matte top coat is also really really good so this I just use the ultimate finish gel. The, the only thing I don't like about the ultimate finish gel is the smell. Oh my gosh it stinks. That along with the um stain resistant top coat. My gosh it stinks. Anyway, uh, these gems that I'm using, these rhinestones that I'm using, oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. I have been obsessed with these gemstones. Now, 
I saw a video, I don't remember who it was, but they showed these rhinestones and she says she does use Swarovski crystals for her clients that really want it, which is what I am going to do. Well, at least I'm going to get some and, and, you know, use those, get the, the more expensive crystals for that if they want them. But if people want rhinestones and don't want to pay that much these rhinestones have so much sparkle in them they are so beautiful and they're actually pre a pretty decent price like you could get 1440 for like five dollars and they are on aliexpress and i know what you're thinking aliexpress takes forever and even if they did it's still worth it guys because they they do really do shine but this uh, seller only takes about a couple of weeks to get to you. So that's why I really do like these. And they're good quality. They're glass. They've got sparkle. Um, so I do recommend them. And it'll this will give it a chance to... For people that want the rhinestones, the bling, and can't afford it, they can still have a really good quality, high sparkle, high shine rhinestones, and it won't break the bank because, you know, Swarovski's are, mm, they, they is expensive. So, <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, am putting the rhinestones on the cuticle for the rest of that. And this is the finished product. Let me know how you like it. Thank you for coming and spending time with me. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.